Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another news slash discussion slash analysis video, and this one is all going to be about the recent price drop with the Model S, and me just talking about, in general, the competitiveness between Tesla and all of their other competitors, or the people that are at least trying to get to the level that Tesla is at right now. So, I want to talk about this price drop in depth, and how that is relevant to Tesla, and at least my perspective on how I think they should deal with competitors in the future. So anyways, as always, please make sure to smash the like button if you enjoy the Tesla videos, and especially if you enjoy these one-off videos where I really go just in depth on one specific topic in itself. But before we get into this discussion of the Model S and its recent price drop, let's just go ahead and address the share price currently for Tesla stock. So as you can see, it's currently at a value of $447 per share, and in the normal market hours today, we got a minus 2.5 6.9% drop, which is minus $12.42 off of the share price. And then in the after hours currently, we are at minus 0.42%, which is minus $1.88 subtracted from the share price. So full disclosure, the aftermarket hours are closed currently because it is after 8 p.m. for me. So the market set a standstill right now. But as I said, overall, Tesla is at minus 3.10% for today. So first off with this video, let's just go ahead and check out Elon Musk's recent tweet on Twitter regarding the recent Model S price drop. So as you can see with this tweet right here, we've already addressed this in a recent news video, but I just wanted to gloss over it really quickly just for the topic of this video. So as Elon Musk says, the gauntlet has been thrown down. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Model S price changes to $69,420 tonight. So if we go over here and take a look at the Tesla Model S on the official Tesla website, as you can see, we didn't select the include potential savings one. So this is the pure price in itself. But as it states, the long range plus version is $69,420. So he kept his promise as stated, and we now have the Model S available for this price tag. So of course, right off the bat, we got to give him props for the meme number. I mean, if you're going to buy a Model S anyways, and you were planning to buy it even before this price drop, at that point, who wouldn't want to pay this exact price for and actually have that receipt? You might as well just frame your receipt on the wall at that point when you're able to buy it at this just meme price right here. So you've got to appreciate the price point in itself just for it being a meme number. But even aside from that, let's just talk about the competition and why all of this is relevant on a more serious note. So just taking a look at what this is meant to compete with, the main reason for this price drop, we have a brand called Lucid, also known as Lucid Motors. So I have to give them some credit here. They've been able to create a product at least a little bit similar to Tesla, and they've been on that silent grind. They haven't really been telling anyone about anything or making big news pieces or anything but they've been developing the design and also just everything that has built this vehicle in silence. So they've been a little bit low key about these different cars that they're promising right here. So I have to give them credit at least on what they're promising right here, even though it's a little bit further out in the future, the details on these and the specifics in terms of like mileage and everything like that, I have to give credit where it's due. It's pretty solid, but I have to be honest as well. If we're analyzing this in terms of in comparison to the Tesla models, I mean, what it's promising right here is available two years from now. So I think if we actually take a look at like the Reserve Now page, it says the Lucid Air is $69,900 and it is supposed to be available in early 2022. So let's just address this for one thing right off the bat. So even if there are no delays whatsoever for this model specifically, it's going to be available in early 2022. So even if we address the fact that 2022, although it seems pretty far off, it's actually not that far off considering that we're almost near 2021 right now. So even if we address that and realize that it's actually not that far out, it's still a year out though. So just keep that in mind in comparison to what's already available right now, which is the Tesla Model S, which has similar details. Like with this 406 mileage range for the Lucid Air base model, we also have the Tesla Model S long range plus model being available for the $69,420 price tag with only four miles less for the mileage range at 402 miles. So with the Tesla Model S, it's 402 miles and then with the lucid air it is 406 miles so a four mile difference between the brands in terms of mileage per charge however just keep in mind that as we get further and further into 2021 and closer to the time of the 
lucid air release it's very very likely that tesla will have improved the mileage for the tesla model s and especially if they keep this price tag either at this point right now or even lower in the future with maybe even more potential price drops if they can keep that price similar yet also continue to update the mileage and most likely surpass the mileage for the lucid air then at that point it becomes a no-brainer so for the people that are really not taking into consideration that tesla is continuing to improve their battery range then they may think okay well technically the lucid air has a little bit more mileage and it's also a similar price but if they actually start to look into things they'll realize that in the future it's likely that the model s will be updated and have a much higher mileage range by then because just keep in mind as i said this is around a year into the future so i think they can increase this by at least four miles by a year from now but just keep in mind, that's based on the assumption that the Lucid Air doesn't increase in mileage as well. So at this point in time, it's basically just a comparison of which company continues to update their vehicles consistently and often. So if Lucid is just one of those companies that doesn't want to beat its previous claims in terms of all of the specifics and details about their models, like if they don't try to beat this 406 mileage range, then I think they're definitely in trouble because as we know with Tesla, they are a company that likes to beat the details that they announce. They they like to do much better than what they're actually telling you and even sandy monroe has made this point previously in which he states that tesla lies and that's actually a compliment to tesla but aside from all of that i just wanted to address of course the comparison between these two vehicles and also another thing that i want to note is that i believe this sixty nine thousand nine hundred dollar price tag for the lucid air i believe that is actually including the incentives as well so technically even aside from this most recent price drop by tesla themselves if you take a look at this in terms of cost details and you click on that little underlined section right there as it says it says amount includes a potential $7,500 US federal tax credit the lucid air has not yet been certified as credit eligible by the IRS additional state incentives may also be available a tax advisor should be consulted regarding individual tax treatment so as it says right here this includes a $7,500 federal tax credit so really what the true price right here regardless of tax credits is actually $7,500 added on to this $69,900 price tag. So that ends up with the Lucid Air actually being priced at a value of $77,400 in comparison to the Tesla Model S, which is now at $69,420. And as it states right here, I have specifically chosen this section that says all prices are shown without potential incentives or gas savings of $5,500. So this includes no incentives, no savings whatsoever. This is the exact price that you are going to pay if you want to buy a Tesla Model S right now. So we have $69,420 versus $77,400. So not only do we have a big difference in price, but also as I stated, as it gets around the time of the Lucid Air actually being produced and delivered to people, then it's very likely that Tesla will have improved their battery technology greatly by the time of then. Because keep in mind, even Elon Musk has stated that around the time of 2022-2023, they'll be pumping out their new batteries at mass production. And so that's obviously going to drive the cost down for these vehicles tremendously as well so just in the matter of the time between now and then i think they will continue to improve their battery technology and overall just make it cheaper for them to make these model s's therefore possibly driving the cost down even more in the future for customers and also increasing the mileage range per charge as well so in the future my guess is that the tesla model s will be a lot more competitive against the lucid air in terms of just being a much better vehicle for the value that you're paying so not only is it likely going to be cheaper than the lucid air but it's also likely going to have a much better battery capacity by the time that lucid air starts getting delivered so my prediction would be that the tesla model s will actually have a much better mileage range in comparison to the lucid air by the time the lucid air starts to get released however as i stated a lot of people buying the lucid air might not be taking that into consideration so with this video i just wanted to emphasize a few of these key points that i may not have been able to discuss as much in my previous news video and then i also just want to emphasize the fact that i love that elon musk and the tesla team are being competitive in terms of making it difficult for their competitors to have a chance against them and i think this is at a crucial point in time where tesla really needs to be competitive and show no mercy at some points in time to be honest at least that's my personal perspective i'm more on the end of i want tesla to absolutely dominate rather than just kind of being in the middle and saying oh i want everybody to win i want tesla to do well of course but also a lot of other companies i mean obviously
obviously I want companies to do well, but I think Tesla deserves it way more than any other company out there. So I want to see them secure the bag. I want to see them dominate the EV industry. And so, like I said, I'm a little bit out there in terms of me wanting Tesla to be very, very competitive. I'm talking about like aggressive price drops just to make sure that you dominate your competition and also just doing things that puts Tesla ahead of the rest of their competition. So when it comes to the idea of supplying their batteries to other car companies, obviously I support this, but I support Tesla meeting their demand first. And as we know, as demand gets higher and higher for Teslas, it's likely that EVs are getting more popular, of course, as well. And with Tesla having the most value for your money in terms of mileage, software, technology, autonomy, and all of those things, then it's likely that most people that are switching to EVs will be buying Teslas. So in terms of supplying their batteries to other car makers, I mainly support that in the case that Tesla is able to meet their demand first and then they start supplying other companies. Because basically, to keep it real with you all, I want to see Tesla absolutely dominate their competition. I want Tesla to basically leave their competition in the dust. So that means kind of like the iPhone effect where everyone wants an iPhone at one point. So in the future, if it becomes like the iPhone effect where everyone wants a Tesla, why would Tesla stifle out its opportunity for this demand? Why would they not meet their demand first? So of course, my expectations are that they prioritize themselves first. I think this is what they're actually going to do. But I just want to place an emphasis on the fact that I love seeing Tesla being competitive, especially when it comes to the price tags. They're willing to take a hit with the price drops like with the Model S because they're trying to secure this customer base in the future and also because they want to be at the forefront of this transition. So as we know, even Elon Musk has stated this himself, that his main judgment on the success of Tesla, he stated, relies on how fast did they advance the transition to sustainable energy. So that is a big factor for Elon Musk. And for one thing, if we actually think about this plan, it plays along in terms of what I'm talking about with competition. So it actually plays to Tesla's advantage because who's the company right now that has the biggest opportunity for transitioning vehicle users to the use of sustainable energy? It's Tesla because not only are they absolutely dominating their competition in terms of autonomy capability, software, and battery technology, but just other factors as well with the Tesla ecosystem. So Tesla is providing a high quality product that people love that just can't even compare to any other competition because it's just so much better. So really, if Tesla wants to advance this transition to sustainable energy, they're going to help with that issue the most by prioritizing themselves first because, as we know, they're just simply offering a better product, one that you get the most value out of for your money. So it would just make sense in the future for them to keep on being competitive with a pricing like with how we saw recently with the Model S and, of course, for them to prioritize the batteries for themselves first and then start to sell it to other customers and other companies. So basically, with this video, I just want to emphasize that I want to see Tesla continue to be competitive and with this most recent Model S price drop, that is once again reinforcing the idea that Tesla is willing to be competitive. So this was a very smart move in my opinion, and it's also just simply Tesla leveraging their power position right now. So Tesla is able to produce vehicles at scale, and they're likely the company that is able to drop their prices the most considering that they're able to produce these vehicles at mass scale, which leads to cheaper cost as well within the supply chain. So with this huge transition beginning to happen right now, Tesla is taking advantage of their position and leveraging it and actually lowering down the prices of some of their models to be competitive with the other companies they are at least just trying to have a chance with Tesla right now. So I love this no mercy approach by Tesla. I mean, Tesla obviously respects their competition and even Elon Musk has met up with the CEO of Volkswagen. And with that, I have to say, if Tesla does start supplying batteries, I think Volkswagen should be the first to receive it because they have kind of given credit where credit is due. But basically, my point here is Tesla still respects the competition, but they understand the way of the game. And I think they understand how ruthless it can be at sometimes with their recent experiences with other companies, such as like the situation where Nikola patented their design and stuff like that. So I think they realize that it's a really competitive business and people are willing to play dirty. And I'm glad that Tesla has been able to learn these lessons because I think it's played a role in them being competitive on certain things. So as I stated, in my opinion, this recent price drop on the Model S was a genius move. I think it was the right play to make. And I honestly hope that we continue to see big brain plays like this by Elon Musk in the future because I think this is what really makes a difference. Obviously, whether it's $72,000 or $69,420, it's still a very expensive car for a person like myself. But if I was in the market for that and had the money and was already looking to buy one, then I would be really excited at this point in time if I was able to get this most recent deal. And so, like I said, I just love the fact that Tesla 
was being competitive on pricing with their competition and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and dedicate a specific video to it so as always please make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and also feel free to check out Robinhood and Webull in the description below if you sign up with my referral link you'll get some free stocks and especially with Webull right now you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,600 and to get that all you have to do is sign up with my referral link and deposit $100 into your account and keep in mind you can take that $100 right back out after you get your free stocks so it's basically just nice passive income with minimal effort and it helps support the channel as well just wanted to let you all know about that but i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your week